beautiful weather in Budapest. It's sunny. You can walk with a t-shirt on the street. And we are having an aquarium selection guide here. This is the first part of a long series of building a one aquarium, a big aquarium. And uh, we are here in the Green Aqua Gallery. I don't know if you can see me. <laughs> I made a little joke for you guys because uh, this aquarium is just so big that I can fit in it. <laughs> All right? It's a 150 aquarium and the whole series that I was, I was talking about is about making this aquarium for you guys live every week. And the first part that I talked to you about is, uh, the, uh, is the part that when we're gonna talk about aquariums and we're gonna talk about cabinets. And first I thought this is a very easy topic because you know, you just have to talk about glass and you have to talk about aquarium. But then I realized it's much, much more difficult because everything depends on the choice that you make. What is the size of the aquarium you want? What kind of style of, of the aquarium do you want? Okay, and, and in the next one hour, because the show is going to be one hour long, we're going to talk about that. You're gonna get a lot of inspiration and you're gonna get a lot of in-depth information. So this episode is mainly for beginners because they will get the first impression about how to make an aquarium, a beautiful aquarium. I don't want to stay in here because this is a, <laughs> It's very cold sitting on this glass. Uh, we wanted to ask a colleague, a uh, lady, but uh, I don't want to go into any harassment cases at Green Aqua, so <laughs> let's get out of here. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna walk the ADA letter that we have here. <laughs> All right. Um, so here we are. And as the, as the, as the first step of this uh, one hour long uh, series, we wanna show you um, okay, I forget one thing. You need to share this uh, live broadcast for others to, to learn about aquariums. So if you like what you see, please share it, okay? Uh, and at the end of this live broadcast, we're going to have a question and answers, a Q&A session. So if you have any questions, please feel free to post them here. I will not be able to answer them just during the show, but at the end of the show, I will, an I will answer all questions, however simple they are. So just please post them up and uh, we're gonna answer it. Okay, uh, we have a short film uh, that we want to show you. I have a very good friend who knows nothing at all about aquariums and I asked her to come to Green Aqua to see, to ask questions from my dear colleague Tommy and see, uh, uh, see how a nature aquarium is built and so you can check it out. I would like an aquarium. Uh, we live in a house and in one of the rooms we would like to have an aquarium of a um, little bit more than the middle size. Okay, uh, well basically this is the bit more than middle size. Yeah, this would be nice. Um, my question would be whether uh, it would not be so much rocks but more of the trees inside and bushes so I would okay. maybe uh, do some combination yes yeah, okay it uh, doesn't depend on the size oh, so yeah? you can see that we have uh, an aquascape oh, so with lots of wood with it uh, mm -hmm. actually this is also a bit more than middle size so this is a hundred and eighty liters that one is 240 all right um, but the the scape itself it doesn't depend on the size uh, the first thing is to, uh, well, choose the, the setup itself, uh, the filtration, the lighting, the CO2 system, mm -hmm. and uh, if, if we have that, we can uh, adjust the plants to the, to the technical side. So, uh, if we go for a high-tech setup, then basically you can choose any plant you want, uh, and we can help you which plants can go together. Yeah. All right. Okay, so... Um what you can see is um, we have, uh, we have uh, Dasha here and um, it's just uh, very difficult to start away. You arrive to a shop, you will start talking about hardscape, you will start talking about fish 
and it's very very difficult because you know it's like um, it's just not not you know it's not working you have too much information so you have to start somewhere and this episode is exactly showing you the way in one hour so if you watch it at the end of the hour you will know exactly if you want if you want aquariums what kind of aquariums you want okay and for that we have a little short inspiration film before we start that I just want to remind you if you like this live broadcast please share it because people will want to see your friends will want to see how a beautiful nature aquarium looks like okay so let's see the inspiration movie All right, so uh, we are here with Victor. Hello. Um, and uh, as you can see that nature aquariums can be really inspiring, really beautiful. But in order to get there, uh, you need a lot of inspiration. You need a lot of technical knowledge. But fortunately, we're here for you to, to share that with you. And uh, not only us, but there are many very great websites that, that teach us how to, how to uh, make a good aquarium and, and you can get inspired by them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I, I think the best if you, uh, if you have the uh, goal in mind, what, uh, what uh, uh, vision, what uh, visual uh, what, uh, you would like to achieve at the mm -hmm. end. So uh, I think it's better to start with uh, some inspirational places. Probably a good start to, to start with uh, tropical.com. Uh, if you're looking for a planted aquarium, uh, they have a very good uh, inspirational guide. Uh, you can you can select easy plants or easy uh, low demanding uh, aquariums and uh, high uh, demanding ones. Uh, also aquarium sizes, and you can check each of the aquariums, and, uh, and you will see how much plants uh, they use to to set up these aquariums. So I think it's a great start to to. Uh, to see real aquarium, not only just plants or, or uh, original plant names, much easier to, to see uh, uh, the, the pictures and, and, and find the way what, what uh, we would like to see. And also what I wanted to add, that you, you pointed out to me that you can see how many plants they used in a particular yeah, setup. That's, that's, that's very, very good. So how many pots of plants they use? Yeah, yeah. So it's easy to to, to have a figure of what we need to to buy at the at the very beginning for for the aquariums. But of course, uh, if you if you if you have a, a, a higher goals or you're looking for uh, some uh, more more complex uh, aquariums, uh, I would say it's probably a great start to to, to look at the uh, the contest. For example, the uh, the U.S. contest the 
Aquatic Gardener Association. They have a contest over uh, 10 years now, and each year they have different kind of categories. So you, you can check back the uh, inspirational. And which which uh, site should should we go and the? Uh, we should check the last year. The last year, 2016. Uh, just, just pick on one category to, to show an example. Uh, it's a great website. Uh, not all of the contests have uh, similar galleries, so uh, the American contest is, is great for that. If you pick uh, one of them just to show us an example, you also will find the aquarium size, the technical uh, equipments they use, and also the plant list. So it's, it's, it's a great uh, start to, to do. But of course, there's uh, uh, the Japanese contest. The, uh, IAPLC. Yeah, yeah. What uh, Apple Design Mano organized each year. Uh, it's it's great contest. It's, and they have a nice video presenting uh, the winners of uh, of each year. And uh, what we see now is the world ranking eleven. And now we move to ten. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely masterpiece. So whoever comes to us and, and see these things. Uh, we need to tell them that it's, it's, it's a lot of work and a lot of uh, correct, uh, collection and a lot of pre-planning and of course a lot of study so it's not the first aquarium uh, that you will have uh, will look uh, uh, this way. So, but it's, it's a great way to get some inspiration what kind of plants they use, how the, uh, how the aquarium looks like at the end or after two or three months. And of course, it's not only about the uh, the international uh, the international uh, contest, but we also organize a Hungarian one, so a local contest. If you if you are oh yeah, for, let's move to the Hungarian aquascaping yeah, contest if you're page. If for some inspiration, what uh, other Hungarian uh, fellows uh, built, then uh, then uh, the Hungarian aquascaping contest website is a great place to start. So you can check it out. We also have each of the aquariums back for. Uh, uh, to the beginning, so you will see hundreds of uh, aquariums in the gallery with the full plant list. It's also a uh, great inspirational place. And of course, uh, if you like any of the uh, aquariums in our showrooms, that uh, we have uh, yeah. a dedicated uh, page for that, where you can uh, learn about the technical equipment or the plant lists, uh, what we used, uh, so the what you see, pieces or the aquarium soils. So just please just check out. It's it's great information at least to, to start with it and at least it's help uh, at the at the planning. You can you can see exactly what kind of plants we used in a particular aquarium and what kind of gear that particular aquarium has. And obviously we also have the contest.greenaqua.com and uh, there we have uh, the the best places uh, that we achieved and also the description of those uh, uh, aquarium so you can see what kind of hardscape uh, layout materials uh, fish plants etc we used I, I think uh, if and, and it's only about the planted aquarium and the nature aquarium or the aquascaping uh, as we say but if you're looking for something else mm -hmm. then um, you will find plenty of uh, inspiration on the internet about the this right. aquarium about uh, only a hardscape one or uh, a marine there's a there are plenty of uh, inspirational uh, texts on the internet. So. Okay, so what's happening now that uh, you learned uh, where you get your inspiration from, where you get your ideas from. The next step would be you need to decide uh, what kind of aquarium you want to make. And for that uh, you need to decide between several aquarium styles. So let's look shortly into what kind of aquarium styles uh, there are. So the first one. Yeah, if if you if you if we are on a, a planted aquarium line, then the, you see here, and it, it's it's kind of a, a low tech or a low demanding aquarium. Not everyone has the same time to 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 uh, spend in an aquarium. So it's it's uh, it's a great example uh, using uh, low demanding plant, slow aquariums, and this tank uh, from uh, Tropica. It will look. Uh, the same for our long term. So I think it's it's great for beginners uh, or great for those who are too busy to to manage uh, or run the aquarium, but they want to have an aquarium in the background uh, as a home decoration. So so one one drawback of uh, let's say uh, low tech tanks is that they cannot be lighted uh, strongly, which means that you're not going to have the strong visual effect. Uh, that you would have uh, 
um, normally on a highlight tank, okay? Yeah, no, absolutely, and, and you're limited a little bit uh, about the plant selections, so, but, but still you have hundreds of plants to choose from, so uh, it's not uh, means that you need to uh, find something from a bunch of plants, but, uh, but you need to be, uh, the plants need to be carefully selected uh, to achieve this result. Okay, let's move out to the next uh, layout style. It's yeah, not, it's, actually it's, it's not a layout it's, style. Yeah, it's not a layout style, but if you're on a marine line, of course, there are uh, also a lot of help, uh, the, the, the main goal was to, to show this uh, inspiration and also the pictures uh, and, and what I mentioned at the be uh, very beginning, uh, to have the goal in mind. What you would like to achieve. If you are uh, looking for a marine tank, you need a, a different equipment. If you are looking for a uh, planted tank, then you, you will need uh, uh, other kind of accessories. Uh, so it's, it's important to, to, to find the way what, uh, uh, what we would like to achieve as a uh, final result and uh, and build on that so yeah and this is marine you will find a lot of resources how we how it's built what uh, what is needed for uh, uh, of course for a small or larger marine tank what kind of equipment needed and what kind of living creatures you can have uh, and if we move to the gimbal you can see that uh, this was uh, taken from this tank and uh, this is a live shot of the same tank uh, from the green aqua gallery yeah, it's, an as it marine. Is. it's from uh, Denerle and um, it has uh, only soft corals in it actually it has, has a hard coral on the top if you look at the little green stuff over there at the tip of my thing that is a hard coral and it looks that it's thriving well we just wanted to try to see if it uh, uh, if it's gonna thrive but uh, it looks like uh, the Seachem uh, traces and Seachem uh, elements did, did, uh, did, did a good job on it because everybody feels good in this, uh, this little uh, marine tank. Okay, um, let's move to the next one. Yeah. Let's move to the next style. <clears throat> so yeah, hardscape, uh, hardscape only aquariums. If, still, if we are too busy, this one is a great example from uh, the US team, uh, aquarium design group. Uh, if, uh, if you don't want to, to, to manage your, your plants or uh, you only uh, would like to enjoy your hardscape decoration and, and fish uh, uh, schooling in, uh, in the aquarium, then I think hardscape is a, is a great way to, to, to go. Okay, let's move on to the next time. Next one. Well, it's sickly tanks. Um, these are... Uh, these are these, these are a problem for plants, okay? So if you have these types of fish, uh, uh, they probably one of the most beautiful fish. Uh, uh, yeah, but it's colorful, nice but one, you large keep ones. Them but uh, with plants. yeah, they are not friend of the plants, so only just a few will survive until up to the point. But it's also something if uh, if you're if you're enjoying only the f I think it's yeah it's it's a fish focused tank we, right. we can say that so it's it's mainly about but the fishes beautiful. and yeah and it's beautiful of course. All right, so. let's move on. This is this is a discus tank uh, which also mainly about the fishes because these fish need a li little bit more care. So uh, you you have a little bit limitation what kind of plants you can use because. This is, this is a great example and we pulled this up because uh, you need to uh, take care of the, uh, the aquarium temperature also. You need to warm it up and the aquariums, uh, in the aquarium you only can uh, plant this kind of aquatic plants which uh, uh, works well in a higher temperature. You have to, you have to uh, take care of the pH also and yeah it's... Yeah it's, it, it's, it's uh, um, fish focused but you see some kind of decorational plants uh, with that so it's 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 good mixing uh, using both words all right uh, next style is shrimp tank it's it's a very popular hobby in Europe uh, shrimp tank is not only just a tank and with uh, an air filtration and uh, and just soil this is a very good example to enjoy both the shrimp uh, keeping part of the hobby and the and the aquarium itself uh, it has a, a, a great visual appearance we pulled this example from uh, from the Hungarian contest, so it's 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 a good example to to um, to mix both words again. All right, um, then we arrive 
to the Dutch aquarium style. Dutch aquarium, yeah. It's, it, it's this is where the nature aquarium actually uh, coming is from, originating yeah. or it's coming from. Yeah, yeah. If we are, if we are talking about aquatic plants, then I think this is the first uh, what uh, pops in mind to to see beautiful aquarium plants. This example put from uh, from the Aquatic Garden Association contest uh, in 2015. Uh, this was the winner of the Dutch contest there. So it's it's again it's um, it's a masterpiece of the of the gardening skill and masterpiece of uh, of a Dutch style. But but it's mainly about aquatic uh, plants and in a in a very precise order and uh, and planting. But it's a great example to 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 use kind of uh, grouped plants. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, after Dutch tanks. Uh, we are moving to a, well this is not, not quite um, an aquarium style, but, but as it uses uh, uh, the same plants, the same technology, uh, we put Without it here, water. but you yeah. have to, but, but it doesn't have water. Yeah, we, we are using aquatic plants uh, here with, uh, uh, with these kind of uh, plates. You can, you can have this next to your aquariums and, and just uh, reuse the plants that you trim off uh, from, uh, from your planted aquariums. But you also can enjoy this uh, standalone, so it, it doesn't have a, uh, it, need, it doesn't need to be an aquarium. I see that it's very easy actually, and it looks different from uh, from uh, most of our indoor uh, plants in our house. Okay, and uh, then we arrive and to the last uh, and the last category. one. Yeah, yeah, where green aqua is coming from, and the hobby what uh, uh, we enjoy uh, a lot in the past decade or so. This is nature aquarium style. It's coming from Japan. Uh, aqua design uh, Amano and uh, uh, aqua design Amano and uh, Takashi Amano was the uh, kind of the, uh, the the founder of this style. So if uh, if you're looking for this, this is this. I think this style changed uh, the the way how people think about uh, aquariums. Uh, we can say that. Yes, true. It's uh, it's very photographic, very colorful. It's it's almost. Uh, it, it doesn't look like an aquarium anymore, I would say. It's beautiful plants, great gardening, and you can enjoy this kind of view in, uh, in your home uh, all, all in a year. So it's, yeah, well, you, you can say something about it. Yeah, you? well, uh, we, all come from, uh, we all come from this, uh, so it should, uh, it should be you know, very inspiring for everybody. Uh, it's ultimately it's up to you which which kind of aquarium you like and which which kind of aquarium you choose uh, for us obviously and maybe this is a hard uh, reason uh, escaping <laughs> is uh, is the most important so this is why we chose uh, 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 nature aquarium and aquascaping and and the rest of this series is going to talk about uh, how to make a nature aquarium step by step and um, this is the line that uh, we would like you to follow because it gives us so much pleasure and so much joy and we think that uh, it's going to be the same for you. Okay, so um, uh, I want to thank Victor okay. uh, and, uh, for this little presentation of styles and, uh, and uh, inspiration or sources. Uh, again, if you like what you see, please share it uh, so that other aquascapers would also know and, and also learn about Nature Aquarium. And uh, let's move on. Let's talk about uh, aquariums and cabinets. Uh, I have a couple of topics that I want to talk to you about, um, walk you through, if you may. Uh, first of all, you have to decide where to put that aquarium. If you want to put it in a wall, if you want to be a standalone aquarium, if you want to put it next to a window, do you want to do that? Uh, not really, yeah, oh. we, we would like to avoid to do that. So, direct sunlight is, is not yeah. good for algae you're gonna get algae pretty fast. So what I, what, what I suggest is that you put the aquarium in a shady corner of the house. You have two reasons. One is biological reason. You're not gonna get algae, as much algae. Uh, it's not a guarantee though. I will explain to you why in the next, uh, next, next, next episode. But, you know, you have to put it in a shady place to avoid algae threat. And you also need to put it there because it's better visually. What you want to do is you want to elevate the visual element of a dark corner. If you step into a room and you have a dark corner, that's bad for the spirit, okay? For my visual kind of thinking anyways. But if you have an aquarium there, 
that little shady corner is gonna be alive from one moment to yeah, another place. and you're gonna enjoy it and also if you want to put it in a wall it's okay because it can be very beautiful but you need to take in consideration two things the aquarium is gonna have evaporation if you close it then the, all the vapors all the uh, uh, all the uh, uh, humidity will destroy the walls around it so you need some kind of you need probably you will need a glass uh, top on the aquarium to avoid it uh, uh, to avoid the water to escape or to evaporate and uh, then you will have a lighting problem because that water that is on the surface all the time is going to block some of the light yeah. and you're going to have but you can make really nice aquariums uh, in the walls but if you're making and if you have the possibility i would you know consider it leaving the the top open hang the lights above the aquarium and then just leave it open you can see through you can see the surface and this is why we like open top aquariums as you can see here all the aquariums are open top it Yeah, humidity, yeah, it's, it's it good for change you. And, and so it's not heating up too much. It's, um, there are a lot of advantages. But of course, not uh, everywhere you can use the open top. No, ones. not everywhere. For example, yeah. if you have a cat, like the, she wants to take the, the stuff out, of, the fish out of the aquarium, there's some cats just love fishing. Yeah, so. or it's in a bit <laughs> wall or something like that, of course. Oh, you, you have. And also, the, you know, seeing the, the water surface, the water being part of, of your living space, it, it, gives you, it gives you an added. Yeah, it's a relaxing. It's a relaxing thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, you also need to consider uh, one important thing. You need to maintain that aquarium. So maintenance is a key role. If you you need to change the water in an aquarium, and and we will explain why you need to change the water in the aquarium in, in the following episode. But uh, maintenance is very important for the aquarium. Yeah, yeah. If, yeah it's, it's an important uh, point at the very beginning. If you have just a little time to take care of your, your tank, then probably go in a slower way and don't stress too much about the highlights. And of course, it's kind of a limitation on brand selection and it goes back to the uh, planning and the, and the final visual result. But uh, this is very important at the very beginning, how much time you have to do this. Even, even with these kind of aquariums, uh, you only need an hour per week to to do the water change and, and take care of the garden. Of course, if you have a larger one, it needs a bit more time, but one hour is, is, is enough. But some people still don't have that one hour over the weekend, or they are traveling too much. They, they, they are not at home uh, that much to, to... What you can see here enjoy. is uh, Yuris' aquarium. And we made that uh, during a live uh, workshop uh, a couple of weeks ago. And you can check out uh, uh, that workshop uh, on the Facebook page. If you scroll a little bit down or just choose videos, uh, you can find the, the workshop when we made this aquarium. And uh, you, you will also find another uh, live video that was, is, it stays there recorded on the Facebook uh, that shows how I made a maintenance on this aquarium uh, uh, the last time. So I think it needs another trimming, uh, the pinatifida plants yeah, uh, will need uh, another trimming. Okay, but I don't want to talk about the maintenance yeah. now. Yeah. Um, what I want to talk about is, um, is uh, biological stability. Okay, so when you build an aquarium, it's very important that you need to, to power that aquarium with some serious gear in order to avoid algae. So the bigger aquarium you choose, the, the more, more money have, and the more the more light you need to have and the more money you need to spend on filtration and and the more light you have the more co2 you have to have because if you have high light tanks then you need co2 with that and why you need that also next episode <laughs> i keep teasing the guys i cannot say everything in one hour uh, during the first episode so but you need when when you when this is why i told you in the beginning that choosing the aquarium is a difficult topic because you need to take so many things but if you just want to start somewhere you want to try yourself on how the aquariums fit you you can just you know buy a small small nano tank and have no co2 and yeah, just absolutely. a nano tank and we have nice uh, yeah. sets also that you can just buy and, and try it yourself and if it if you enjoy it and you can you right. can spend a little bit more yeah or learn more about it yeah right it's a great start 
Okay, and, and, and also uh, before we move on, uh, you need to consider one more very small thing. You need to put something underneath the aquarium. While I was sitting in the, and, and we can show that, while I was uh, sitting in here, uh, I would take, I'm, I'm not gonna get in, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this away. <laughs> can you, yeah, can you take it? Yeah, I thank Victor. So, uh, so you actually have, uh, you actually have a foam underneath this one. We're going to change the foam because we put it just for this uh, uh, this live broadcast. There's a very thin foam in here, but you need a thicker foam uh, uh, for the aquarium because the cabinets are made in a very good way. But if you don't if you don't put a foam and you put the cabinet like like on something that moves, I cannot. I don't know. If you, you're not going to see, but but if you put it on a floor like this and not tiles then it's gonna just you know move and the small movements will put stress on the aquarium so the aquarium will move just a little bit so the the less stable your floor is the more foam you need to put in here and we have one product that I wanted to show you and this is uh, this uh, uh, foam and if you can come closer I will show you uh, this is a thick foam okay you can see that that how thick it is so at, you, if you have like a wooden floor you need a thick foam like this, not a thin foam, okay? And, and so the next, next episode when we're gonna talk about filtration, the next week, uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna put a white foam because I don't want to put a black one in between the white cabinet and, and an opti-white glass tank. But, uh, but I'm gonna show you how this, this uh, thing looks. It's seamless, so it's very important. Um, and let's go about, um, about the aquarium manufacturing and how these aquariums are made. And uh, uh, we have visited for you and we made a very short movie about uh, the aquarium uh, manufacturing. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna ask Tommy, the director, to show us. Uh, here you can see that, that huge glass plates are being moved in this aquarium and ladies are also being moved in this aquarium. It's like uh, every shop has, uh, every manufacturing place has some ladies on the walls, pretty nice. And you can see how this automatic cutter is cutting the, the big plates into small pieces and, uh, and automatically it's being pre-programmed and uh, so it makes a, a pattern, it cuts out a pattern from, uh, from, the, uh, from the glass panel. And um, the pattern, later is going to be broken and there you can see the guy is there, there's air pushing up from that machine gun right <laughs> strong sucker <laughs> all right so uh, after that you need to polish and then glue the glass and when it's ready you clean it and uh, and uh, and you are ready okay um, so we have an aquarium here and I want to unbox it for you, but uh, I need some help. So maybe um, I would do it. This is an ADA aquarium. I need to put it up somewhere. So I'm going to, I'm going to take it here. So this is an ADA aquarium, nicely packed. And uh, I'm just going to take it apart. If I can, okay, these go away, sorry for being noisy, all right, and as you can see, it's a perfect aquarium, aquarium needs to be OptiWhite ultimately, so, um, so you need an OptiWhite tank. Why do you need an OptiWhite tank and what is an OptiWhite tank? Okay, an OptiWhite tank is a type of glass. It's called many things. It's called OptiWhite, clear type, you name it. Uh, we just call it OptiWhite. It doesn't have iron inside the glass, which means that it's absolutely transparent. Sometimes you're using normal tanks and normal tanks are just, you know, a little bit uh, greenish in tint. So if you th look through the edges, you will see that the edges are greener. These edges are more bluish, right? Let's move on closer to see. I think you can see better on the big tank. Let's move on to the big tank here. So you can see that the edges, if you look through here, 
absolutely bluish tint, right? This is very important. Why? Because if you have a thick tank, then, uh, then you, it's, it's filled with water and you will see some kind of tint all the time. And you th you're going to think that it's a, it's a tint coming from the water. Maybe it is, but most of the times it's just your glass. So if, if the glass is thicker, the, the, the thicker the glass is, the more important it is for you to have some clear type OptiWhite glass. Okay, so this is a clear type glass and it has nice, uh, nice hooks. Can you move in because I don't want to tear it out. It's being taped to the bottom. And these hooks, these hooks are uh, for, for putting um, a top. The top is not included in the tank, but, uh, but you can, you can you know, make it locally later. So you can, you, can put, uh, you can put a top on the aquarium against your cats, as I told you before. Uh, all right, um, uh, let's move on. I, I want to show you another aquarium here. And this is a 30, uh, 30 liter cube aquarium. Cube aquariums are a little bit more difficult to manage, but they, to, uh, to escape, but they are better to, uh, to start with because it's a small tank. You need a small filter for it. Uh, and we're gonna talk about uh, filtration uh, later. And I wanted to show you also the website of the, of the tanks. Uh, uh, we have on the Green Aqua website, we have uh, several uh, ADA aquariums. Uh, you, can, you can see and we can scroll down a bit to see what kind of other tanks uh, we have on this page. Okay, and, and, and you have two types of tanks and I wanted to show you how the Green Aqua aquariums first. And these are also the same and you can see if you, if you magnify one picture uh, at the top, not this one, the top, yeah, that one. Then uh, we will see, just click on it, yeah, again. You will see that at the bottom you see the difference between the clear glass and the normal glass, okay? And believe me, you don't only see it from, from the side, you, only see, you, you, you also see it from the front, okay? Uh, okay, let's move on and see what kind of aquariums we have here. Uh, first of all, I wanted to show you this aquarium and, and talk about why I chose this aquarium. This is a 150 by 60. It needs to be, it needs to have depth because if it has depth, then you can build back. So you start from four centimeters and you're gonna move the soil or any hardscape that you wanna make towards the back like this. You want to face, I'm gonna show it with a paper. You want to face from here you want to face the scape. You don't want to, you might want to make something that is flat to have some perspectives towards the back, but at certain points you need to elevate. And the more space you have, the more you can build up vertically in the aquarium. So it's very important for a serious tank to have depth. And also the height is not as important, but as you can see, I'm standing here. How high should an aquarium be together with the cabinet? And we're gonna talk about this in the cabinet section also. But you can see that I can put my hand in it without a problem, okay? But if I would be a shorter guy, I would have a problem because if I'm shorter and I want to maintain it and I want to put my hand in there, I'm not going to be able to do that, see? So the height of the aquarium and the cabinet combined should be just fit for you to reach to the back of the aquarium. As, in, as you can see, I can reach to the back of the aquarium, so it's going to be easy to maintain. I don't have to step on anything to, to work on that. On that side, and if we move there, I will, I will show you. This is my contest tank, and I cannot show you because it's IAPLC, and uh, we were talking about uh, aquarium layout competitions, and uh, I am a, a very inspired and, and a very struggling aquascaper to get uh, a good result then at, uh, at, at that point. But I recommend uh, th their website also, the en.iaplc.com website. And you can apply for that. Uh, the application deadline is the end of May, so you still have time to prepare your layout. So this is a 180 tank. It's much bigger than the one that I showed you before. Uh, and I cannot show you because it's a contest tank, I'm sorry. But you will see it in the fall. Uh, but this one is more difficult to maintain because as you can see, I can reach like this, 
but if I would put my hand in there, I would already have problems. To tell you honestly, I need, I need to get an IKEA stuff to step on and I'm making the maintenance from the IKEA stuff. But that's very tiring for many hours. I'm very dedicated. I spend a lot of time on the aquariums. You don't have to spend do that much time if you're not considering you know, serious uh, stuff. Where's my paper? I lost it right here. There? No, no. Maybe, yeah. Uh, I'm leaving papers everywhere. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, so, um, we have another. Okay. So, we were talking about the sizes of aquariums, and I wanted to show you around. Let's move to the other side. And, uh, hey, Vivi. <laughs> I will show you, there's a, a 60 H tank. Vivi, our colleague is here, don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, so the 60 H tank, the H means that it's high. It's not 36 centimeters as the standard height, it's 45 centimeters high, which means that you can build vertically, you can build much more in there. Personally, I really like this ratio because, and the tank that I opened earlier, the OptiWhite tank that I show you, was the same size like this one. You can build up hardscape pretty nicely, and it's much bigger. If you move a little bit back, and I'm going to ask you, so how big do you think this tank is? If, if you're an expert, you're going to know. But most people say it's 100 liters, and it's not. It's 80 liters only, which means that the, filtr the filtration you want to have, I'm sorry for the sound, the filtration you want to you, you have here, you don't need bigger filters. This filter, I know this is considered big in the low-tech community because we have CO2 and we want to be sure, so we're going to have big filtration, but I'm going to talk about that next, next week. Okay, so you have only an 80 tank, which looks much bigger. I have built 80 liter tanks at clients' places, uh, big living rooms, and they were visually very attractive. They didn't need to be bigger. So if you don't want to spend that much money on a tank, you better buy a tank, a 60 tank. And why is this size very important? Because the light will fit on standard sizes. And usually you don't talk about liters in, in aquariums. You need to talk about liters as well, but you need to talk about uh, the width of the aquarium. So there are standard sizes. 60 is the starting size for a normal size tank. The next one is 90 and we're going to walk down to the, to the other uh, floor of Green Aqua and I'm going to show it to you. And, and the next one is 120 and the next one is 150 if you move back. So this is 150, yeah? And this is 180, okay? And if we move back here, you can see the difference between these two tanks. If you can show us the, both tanks, okay? This is a 60P, a lower 36 centimeter tank, and this is a 60H, a higher tank, all right? Let's move down a little bit, just for a short time. And this is an old tank, a 106 year old tank. It belonged to the grand grandfather of uh, Green Aqua founder Attila Neder. And uh, you have a video on, about this tank on the Green Aqua site, website. So if you move to the uh, tv.greenaqua.com website, and I can show you that on a, on a, on a title also. Yeah, you, you can, uh, yeah, uh, the, first, the first link from, from the inscription. Then uh, you will see that uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a beautiful tank and you can, you can watch a video about it. And uh, let's move down. Follow me. And Tommy can also show me on, on the camera from, uh, from the fish stand. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Run, run. Don't drop it. <laughs> All right, so uh, we are here. As you can see, the fish and, and, and the shrimp are here, but we're not going to talk about that, so follow me. Let's move on. Let's move on to the gallery side. Okay, so the gallery. Uh, as you, you saw on the video that we made the Dasha at the beginning of this, this is a 120 tank. The 120 tank is already a big tank, okay? So uh, uh, it, it would look good in a, in a living room in, in anything. I will put my earphones in. I don't know if uh, the picture is breaking up, so I'm going to ask Tommy. It's okay. All right, perfect. Okay, so we have a 120 tank. I'm scared of fish. I'm the fish scare. 
All right, here you have, uh, let's, let's move in to see those two together, okay? This is a 90 tank. This is a 100 tank. So what I talked to talk you about, there's the 60 tank that I, talk, uh, that I show you upstairs, 90, 120. Okay, for a 120 tank, you already need two lights if you're using metal halides, and we're gonna talk about that. And you also need two filters, big, big ones, just to be on the sure side. Maybe you don't need, if you wanna, if you wanna make sure that, that your filtration is okay, you can use these, but if not, you can use two smaller ones. This is the same size, and we have two, two tanks like this, two, uh, two filters like this. All right, so, okay, let's move on. And we have in the, in the back, this is a 90. It was made by a good friend, Adam Pastella. Uh, it was a live workshop. You can check it out on the Green Aqua Facebook. Check the videos and, and just scroll back there and then you will see. And this one, is a 60 ADA tank with a very nice light on top of it. It's an ADA light. I don't know if, uh, let's move back, yeah. It's the ADA LED light, LED light that came, it's the solar RGB light. All right, I didn't talk about automatization. When you choose a tank and you don't want to spend so much time, you don't want to spend so much time on, on uh, on water changes, dosing, etc. You can have everything automatic actually. You only need to feed the fish. The water changes, the, the dosing for the plants, uh, the CO2, the lights, everything is gonna be automatic. But you need to spend a lot of money on that. So, okay, it's up to you guys. Uh, let's move back upstairs. Run, follow me. <laughs> plants, Victor. <laughs> All right, customers. <laughs> I don't want to uh, <laughs> interfere with the <laughs> with that. Let's go. <laughs> All right, more inspiration on the walls. Two sides here. Yeah, like that. Uh, okay, and uh, we have uh, a very good colleague of ours, Bente, ready here to unbox us. Before we start that, let's show. Uh, how uh, a green aqua is manufacturing the uh, uh, the cabinets. Uh, it doesn't look much. It doesn't look as uh, good on video as it does uh, uh, as the aquarium manufacturing looks like. But these guys are really, really professionals, and uh, and they are making waterproof laminated as well as uh, normal wood aquariums. These are the Edgar colors that you can choose from. And this is the chamber where they paint it. Okay. Um, so uh, so uh, uh, if, if, if it's a normal uh, wood tank, then it's multi-layer painted. And uh, when it's painted, it's really heavy. So I want to show you how uh, we brought up uh, uh, the very heavy aquarium uh, with uh, our friends and colleagues, uh, the guys that you, sh that you saw previously. It arrived, the tank uh, that I was sitting in, the cabinet for it, it was arriving uh, uh, in a truck and it took four guys and then only one remained at the end <laughs> to carry it. It's so heavy and uh, this is how it was brought up to the Green Aqua Gallery and uh, we didn't pack it properly because it arrived directly from the factory and the guys who made it brought it so yeah that's it and uh, I want to show you live uh, the, aquarium, the, the tank the tank the cabinet first it's very important to have holes on the side to get the uh, filter hoses and I can show you uh, a working tank here so the filter hoses are coming out of this uh, uh, opening, all right? Yeah. And you have additional holes in the back. I'm gonna move this so that you can see. 
So you have hoses for the uh, electricity in the back. You have holes uh, here to have access for the wires between the different, let's see how it opens. So you can see my hand there. Yeah. Hello, hi, <laughs> my hand is cut. <laughs> Houdini, yeah. <laughs> right. I was I was actually planning to sit in the in the cabinet first, but then I realized it would be better to sit here naked for one, and then I realized I'm just going to sit in there. Anyways, uh, this is very important. Uh, it's 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 a two layer thing. If you move down a little bit and you show it from down, come on here, you can see that it's two layers. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Yeah, you can. This is the first one and this is the second one, okay? So it needs to be thick because you need to connect and to transfer the weight of the aquarium through a, th through a thick uh, uh, front layer. Also, you need the same thing, strengthenings on the sides and strengthenings in the middle. No, you don't have here because it's enough. Two, two, uh, two walls is enough. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so you have three chambers. You're not going to use all the three. And, um, and, 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 and this is a very, very, you know, it amazes me how clean and, and, and how well done this cabinet is. It's not because it's ours. I don't want to. Uh, you can see we have a website that you can buy cabinets. And I'm going to ask Tommy, to, the director of this show, to show it us. So to show it to us, uh, this is the one. So you can, you can get the different types of cabinets. You have la uh, laminated cabinets at the top, and if you scroll down, um, you will have the normal types as well. And uh, as we move on a little bit, one more, you can see that there's a different type of cabinet. It's the ADA cabinet. And um, I will show it to you if, if we move on. So follow me. So this is the ADA. It's a garden stand, not a cabinet, actually. Uh, this is a very nice stand because it, it stands alone. It stands alone. And, uh, and, and you can see the, the filters. You can see the technology, but it's very light. It, it's just like the aquarium. It's just like the aquarium would be floating in the air. See? There's nothing down there. That one is a bit heavier. And this one is much lighter, yeah? You can see the difference. It's a visual difference. But you need to be careful because if, if you're having a 90 centimeter wide tank on a stand like this, it would, uh, and you, you put it full with rocks and everything, the stand will be, you know, a little bit shaky. So you have to be careful to make a lighter scape. It's okay with the normal size, of the, uh, no, normal weight of the water and the normal tank. Just be careful not to full pack it with all kind of hardscape when, uh, when you're making it. Okay, and at the end of this, I have a, a laminated cabinet that Ben Sey is going to unpack for us. Let's do it. And uh, let's see how, how it looks like. Do you need any help, uh, any scissors? Okay, and, and the tank, this tank is a white tank, okay? It's called a uh, chalk white. And, 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 and while Bense is uh, unpacking this thing, I will tell you that uh, if you like what you're seeing, please share this uh, live event. And, uh, and, uh, and, and you will be able to follow the, the live event with English and Hungarian subtitles later. And I'm going to say just one quick sentence in Hungarian for our Hungarian viewers. Szóval mindenkinek sziasztok, nem beszéltem sokat ma magyarul. Ha, ha, majd ezt a videót elmentjük és feliratozni fogjuk, úgyhogy meg fogjátok tudni nézni ezt feliratozva is később a Facebookon, illetve feltöltjük a YouTube-ra is. All right, so you can see that it's, uh, the cabinet is revealed. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you cut it down. That's it. I'm going to make some noise for you guys. No, I don't want to. No. I'm going to move away because I don't want to interfere too much uh, with the sound. And it's noisy enough and I don't want you to be deaf. How do we stand with time? Because I don't want to take uh, too much of your times. 
Yeah, we're almost ready, so we are in good times. And uh, we are ready for questions and answers. So Vivi, if, uh, if we have any questions, uh, we can answer that. All right. All right, so this is the cabinet. Yeah, let's do like the other guys did it in the video. <laughs> have you seen it? Right, we're ready. Okay, so this is a laminated cabinet. So um, you can see that uh, it looks much like uh, a normal wooden cabinet. And I would say that because of the price, if you don't want to spend too much on the cabinet, you can uh, you can just get a, you can just get a, um, a normal laminated cabinet and not a premium one. It looks almost the same except at, at the at the sides of it, you have a little hole for the uh, for the um, uh, for the filter hoses. And if the filter hoses would not come out, you can just take it out and, and use the filter hoses to come out from here. And you can cover the other side because you have no idea. You will have usually one filter and you can put the filter on, on the left or the right side so it has uh, the same thing on both sides which means that, that you're going to use one to take it, take it out and then just have it and you don't see the top so because you're going to put the foam obviously and the aquarium on it and all, all of them have these stoppers on it so you actually don't have to, you don't have to uh, when you open it you don't have to, uh, to tear the door out like many people do because that's going to make a noise. This one doesn't didn't even open. So what you have to do is just push it with your hands. It opens slightly and you just open it. Okay? There's another hole in the in the middle uh, for the for the electricity and for anything else that comes from outside. And this is also a very strong cabinet and uh, and uh, we have several cabinets in Green Aqua which were flooded, like we left the hose that was filling up the aquarium uh, too long and we forgot about it and the water came out and just, you know, covered the whole cabinet uh, until we heard it and we jumped on it, but it was already too late, obviously. And uh, to tell you honestly, I can see some minor damages because of the water going in, but it's working well for many years. So. Uh, so I would recommend it. You don't have to be very afraid. But these these aquariums, the uh, aquarium cabinets, the uh, the normal uh, wooden ones are just perfect. And 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 I wouldn't say that you can submerge them, but uh, they are very nice. So uh, I would recommend them also. Thank you, Bense, for uh, for that. Um, and I think we are almost ready with this broadcast. So um, I would like uh, to thank you again for being with us. And um, if you like uh, what you see, please share. All right. So if you like, if you like what you see, please share this event. And next week, we're going to come back and uh, we're going to talk about uh, filtration. And um, I hope you like it. And filtration is the most important thing from, uh, from all aspects of, uh, of, uh, of aquariums. I didn't talk about filtration in the first episode because before you go with filtration, you need to know what kind of aquarium and cabinet to choose, where to put it, what kind of styles to use, as we were talking about. But uh, the single most important and everything has to go with filtration because if you don't have enough filtration, you're gonna get fu full of algae, you're not going to be able to light the aquarium well. Everything starts at filtration. And what kind of filters to use, what kind of filter materials to use, that's what we're going to talk about uh, the next week. Okay, guys, so thank you again. And uh, maybe see you next week with the filtration guide.